breaking. Black Lives Matter bails out activists charged with attempted moida of Louisville mayoral candidate. Brown, Contest Brown, by the way. If you don't know anything about Contest Brown, he's been known all around the circles for a person that they want to see in public office. Wait, what? After this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brown was arrested earlier this week for a detempted ace ass ass in nation of local mayoral candidate Craig Greenberg. He was charged with attempted moita and four counts of wanton endangerment. Okay. So BLM, the money you gave to BLM is bailing out a bunch of different people and this guy right here, Kintez Brown, tried to end someone's life. Why? Don't know, but by the way, folks, the mayoral candidate, he's a white guy. So we should be burning down the cities, right? No, no, you don't do that but it gets better. BLM protest organizer pleads guilty to 20 counts of possession of child prawn. A New Hampshire man that previously organized a North Conway BLM protest, he called skate away the hate, pleaded guilty to count to 20 counts of possession of child prawn. Look at this guy here. Do you believe he did it just by looking at him? I do, I do. Um, 39 year old Chris DeVries appeared in court just before Christmas and was sentenced to a minimum of three to six years in prison. In June 2020, DeVries organized a protest he dubbed Skate Away the Hate, which involved people riding bicycles and skateboards, Shoulder Park and Depot Road, and back in New Hampshire, White Mountains, town of North Conway. All right, I'm not gonna go too far into that, but I just wanted to point out BLM is an organization. People have donated money to BLM to the tune of billions of dollars through, by the way, corporate sponsorship. Yes, folks. And throughout the world, people donated money to them, including Canadians, by the way. And BLM does what with the money? Well, they get supported by like this dude here. And, you know... They pay your bail if you happen to try to, allegedly now, end someone's life. So we need to now get to the main story here. Now, I understand those two first stories are in the United States. But let's use a little thought process here, a little thinking program, a little thought experiment. Let's say both those actions happened in Canada, okay? And the Canadians gave BLM in Canada billions of dollars. And the government didn't try to freeze their bank accounts or try to dox them or try to find out who donated money to BLM of Canada, if this, these two references are correct. The 2020 Summer of Love, many Patrice Colors taking that money and going off and buying mansions upon mansions, and then them buying a Canadian mansion that used to own my, was owned by socialists, and then having bailing out people who are obvious felons bailing out this guy who shot at a mayoral candidate and this guy who's, you know, peddling child prawn and the Canadian government doesn't go after that. But now you have the Canadian truckers out there and the Canadian government is stating that uh, the justice minister says Trump supporters ought to be worried about having their bank accounts frozen. What? But wait, wait, what? Wait a minute. Why... Trump supporters in Canada, there are there. But why would they bring that up? If And he goes on to say, I think if you are a member of a pro-Trump movement who's donating hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars to this kind of thing, they ought to be worried. Why? Are you going to do that about BLM? That's an obvious criminal network, according to my opinion. So you're going to go after Trump supporters. You see, you're not talking about them talking about they want to re remove the mask mandates and the vax mandates. Probably not even the mask mandates to a full degree. They just want to drive and go about their lives. But you're going to label these guys pro-Trump? Why? What, are the ju what is a Canadian justice, min justice minister going to do to a guy in the South who's not even a citizen of Canada? Go fuck yourself. 
You ain't gonna do shit to me. Fuck you. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything. But you're gonna label your own citizens without evidence to suggest that they're pro-Trump? What if some of them aren't? You think everybody who donated was everybody on the right side of their your political spectrum, which is not many people. That's kind of crazy, kind of strange. He goes on to say, you've just got, you've, you've just com- compared people who have, may have donated to this same people who are funding maybe a terrorist. I just want to be clear here, CBT News Anchors asks, this is really important. A lot of folks are just like, look, I just don't like your vaccine mandates. And I donated to this. Now it's illegal. Should I be worried that a bank can freeze my account? What's your answer? And this is where he doesn't answer the question. He doesn't go to the crux of the issue. He just starts labeling and demeaning these people without even knowing their intentions. That's what leftists do. He says, well, I think that if you are a pro-Trump movement who's donated hundreds of thousands of dollars and millions of dollars to this kind of thing, they ought to be worried. I don't know of any pro-Trump movements in Canada. As a matter of fact, I don't think there's any. Are there people up there, maybe in Alberta, in the, the, the Alberta oil patch, they like Trump? Maybe have a Trump flag just because they're Canadian or their American cousin gave it to them? Probably. But did the label all it's a pro-Trump movement? So what if it's a pro-Trump movement? What, you can't have a pro-Trump movement? You have pro-socialist movements in Canada, but you can't, that's okay, but you can't have a, fuck you again. This comes as Prime Minister Justin on Monday implemented the Emergency Act, which Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland said would be used in part to halt funds going to truckers' freedom convoy. The group, which has over 400 trucks parked in the streets of Ottawa, have been using crowdfunding platforms to funnel contributions to the protesters and help them maintain their position. Many of the donations made are of small amounts and contributions may or have been made on both sides of the border. Lametti also said that truckers could lose their trucking license if they participated in the protest or if their company permit, per, permitted them to participate in the protest. This was also stated by Freeland during the announcement of the Emergency Act. Wait, what? So you're going to lose your livelihood because you're protesting a cause that you think is necessary? You're redressing uh, grievances towards your government? I know probably Canada doesn't really have that. It's probably worded differently. But the fact remains that you're going to do that. But BLM, all the donations, those people, nah, that's cool. That's cool. Whatever. We're just, you know, bailing people out of jail who've committed, allegedly, crimes, felonies, misdemeanors, or whatever. So you're going to... You're going to destroy thousands upon thousands of your own citizens' life and livelihoods because the Emergencies Act, which, by the way, from what I didn't understand out there in Lazo Land, is that even though he produces or instit- instituted the Emergencies Act, this is Justin Trudeau, it still has to go through their parliament and their senate, I think. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but they're acting like it's, you know, they haven't done anything yet. They, matter of fact, the, the borders have been already cleared technically for the most part. They, it was peaceful. They didn't even have to use this bullshit fucking emergencies act. So in, in my in my opinion out there, truckers in Canada and truckers everywhere, you're what you know holds the society together, not the police. It's what you guys keep putting stuff on the shelves. You know, driving back across the country, throughout the world even. Same thing in Canada. You know, if you feel that you need to keep going, I, you have my 100% tacit support. Now, I, I say tacit. I'm not, I haven't donated any money yet because of... Um, eh, donating to causes like this, while over good, and it's still a good cause, and you, if you want to do it, you can do it. I'm not giving you financial advice. You want to do it, go and do it. I just want to avoid things like, you know, give, send, go, getting freaking just utterly, you know, destroyed... Their, their network to get docs and have all their information pulled out for a CEDO who donated. I don't want my name on some fucking list. You know? I mean, you're... I, I get it, you know, the... Every, everyone's name is on the list somewhere. It's just that it hasn't got to you yet. But, again, I, I, I love the truckers. I'm glad they're, you know, protesting that to-do piece of shit. And this goes to show you that what some governments will allow, especially if it's a narrative they are promoting... Whether if it's something that gets in their way and another narrative that they don't like and they don't promote and it hurts their bottom line, they'll go after them. But these violent protesters over here on the on the left, they're cool. Peaceful protesters on the right, bad. Keep it up, truckers. Keep it up. <laughs>